There is a fear of AI that I subscribe to. AI is part of a trend that's been going on for the last 30, 40 years or more of computer automation, and that's been impacting jobs and, and labor. And I do think we need to think very carefully about the social impact here. There's a whole nother story about the existential risk of AI, and that's really Frankenstein complex, okay? That's people being scared of computers taking over, of robots taking over, and frankly, that's Hollywood hype. That's not reality. We have to separate the science from science fiction. I can imagine a world where people are freed of drudgery. We used to have toll operators standing there and taking 25 cents. We don't have that anymore. Now we have people working in coal mines, uh, which, is, which is not healthy. We have uh, all kinds of jobs that are either incredibly boring, uh, incredibly dangerous, uh, just not fulfilling. We can take those away and increase by an order of magnitude the number of scientists, the number of poets, the number of artists, the number of people who are creators or makers, and people making things for their creativity, for each other, uh, as opposed to to earn a buck. To do that, it's not just a technology problem. We also, as a society, have to make sure that people can achieve a decent living. We have to address the growing inequality in society as far as, as wealth creation. But if we do that, I can imagine a world where technology is driving us forward, AI technology is helping us solve more and more problems, and we live in, a, in really a euphoric state where we can engage in what we want to engage in, in creative enterprises. There's a lot of uh, consensus building uh, that needs to happen to get there, but as an AI optimist, I think we should head in that direction.